Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. A recently published analysis by the Center for Responsive Politics reveals that seven out of the ten richest members of Congress have one sick thing in common. The analysis was based on the financial disclosure forms that members of both the House and Senate filed in 2016 and covered their assets and liabilities through 2015. The information could not have been released at a more opportune moment, as it explains quite a lot about how lawmakers casted their votes on Friday. Seven of the ten richest members of Congress are Democrats while only three are Republicans, according to the Center for Responsive Politics. As members of Congress list both their assets and liabilities within a range of values rather than by a specific value on their financial disclosure forms, the Center for Responsive Politics estimated the wealth of each lawmaker by the following method. Net worth was calculated by summing the filer's assets and then subtracting any listed liabilities. Filers report the amount of each of their assets, transactions and liabilities as falling within one of several ranges. The minimum possible values for each asset were added together as were the maximum possible values. Likewise, minimum and maximum liability amounts were summed. The maximum debt figure was then subtracted from the minimum asset figure and the minimum debt figure was subtracted from the maximum asset figure. The resulting range represents the extremes of how much a filer could be worth, and his or her actual net worth should fall somewhere within that range. The midpoint or average of the two limits was also calculated and used for purposes of ranking the filers by wealth. Representative Darylissa, a Republican from California, was the richest member of Congress with an estimated wealth of $330,050,015. The other two Republicans in the top ten were Representative Dave Draught of Michigan, who ranked number five with an estimated wealth of $177,149,145. And Representative Vernon Buchanan, who ranked number six with an estimated wealth of $115,534,558. Meanwhile, House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi ranked number seven, with an estimated wealth of $100,643,521. She was also one of only seven members of Congress whose estimated wealth exceeded $100 million. Senator Mark Warner of Virginia, with an estimated wealth of $238,816,630, was the richest member of the U.S. Senate and the third richest member of both houses of Congress. The other five Democrats, in addition to Pelosi and Warner, who ranked among the ten richest members of Congress were, Rep. Jared Polis of Colorado, $313,556,221, Rep. John K. Delaney of Maryland, $232,816,089, Rep. Scott Peters of California, $95,569,028, Sen. Richard Blumenthal of Connecticut, $81,745,158, and Senator Dianne Feinstein of California, $79,067,057. Four of the ten richest members of Congress, Issa, Bell Osi, Peters and Feinstein, are from California and two of those four are from the city of San Francisco, Pelosi and Feinstein. Well, this sure explains a lot, not the least of which is the reason not one single Democrat voted in favor of the GOP's tax reform bill on Friday. These people don't give a lick about the middle class Americans putting in a 40-hour week just so that they can barely put food on the table for their families, they're sitting pretty in their mansion sipping on bottles of wine that cost more than you or I make in a week. Voters ought to think twice before re-electing many of these lawmakers, as they are doing little more than sending a millionaire to Washington, D.C., who has absolutely no clue about the concerns and values of average Americans. Share the story and leave a comment by clicking one of the buttons below. Follow us on Facebook at Mad World News. News.